The premises of Edo State Internal Revenue Service was taken over by the protesters. The situation attracted the attention of policemen who stood by to ensure that the situation did not degenerate. Spokespersons for the protesters alleged that they are at the verge of going bankrupt owing to the alleged activities of tax collectors on the highways allegedly operating on behalf of the State Internal Revenue Service and called on the management to immediately address the situation. We cannot again be working like an entity, like an elephant, and eating like an ant. Even the people that are the voluntary revenue, which is the state government, they uh, approve us to collect taxes on daily basis. The money they are collecting from us ranges between 1,005 and 2,000 dollars from the lorry. So I don't know how we can be comfortable with this kind of system. Here and now, I couldn't do Nigeria. I just go in and go and try it. We are paying 4,500. And those people there, they work 24 hours. The Internal Revenue Board gave us amount to be paid. But his boys are still outside. And when they asked us to pay this money, they said it was sent by Internal Revenue. So we don't really know who we are paying to. That is why we have cried to Hosseini Lamadi this morning. So please help us out of this problem. Addressing the protesters, Chairman Edo State Internal Revenue Service, Chief Oseni Elama, said the management is not aware of such collections and ordered the protesters to stop such payments while a team of security personnel will be set up to arrest those trying to dent the image of Edo State government. Nobody gets right to collect any money for any room from anybody. All those extortions, all those intimidations, all those harassment, whether in the name of official or unofficial, it could stop. The Chairman State Internal Revenue Service, Chief Oseni Elama, has promised to investigate the allegation leveled against the board. Reporting from the State Internal Revenue Service in Benin City, Wellington, Arkadija.